class background and yeah having to to work was expected but you could decide what you wanted to work at like for instance me and my friends it all came down to cars uh, my friends all wanted cars because forgive the sexism of this but I mean if you wanted a girlfriend you had to have the car first and if you wanted a car that means you had to take the job in the factory which we all hated there was one particular factory where it was like graduate high school go to the factory make some money get the car and if you're lucky get the girl and uh, I wanted the girl but I did not want the car so I in fact gave myself some freedom and I was able to not go to the factory but I actually got a job in a department store where I worked half the time my friends did and I made about half the money but I didn't have a car to pay for so I was able to one buy books start making movies and I had some money to take my girlfriend to have coffee. <laughs> In all kinds of arts I always responded negatively to overindulgence too much and in movies in the 80s when my sensibility was developing just big mainstream entertainments just had too much there was too much lights too much action too much gratuitous sex and violence whatever it's just sometimes there was a nice idea in there too and I just wanted to get at the idea and I thought you could strip away a lot so that's a little bit personal temperament artistic temperament I was well suited to be a low-budget filmmaker but no I, I like the whole idea of serial uh, storytelling when you've told stories feature length you know a 90 minute thing for 30 years you start getting anxious to be, you get bigger and bigger and bigger you know so uh, a 10-hour story <laughs> I like the idea of that it was like when I was at the first film festival of trust that I first heard this term independent <laughs>